We have a red GDR. Welcome back to the video. I have to get some fucking parts from this car for a couple of reasons for Annabelle's car and for somebody else's car. So I'm gonna have a look at what I need and I'm gonna try and climb over this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Set engine, hopefully that's better. I need to get myself in position. Hold the camera please. Yeah. Squat on the car. Bearing in mind you're filming. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming the position. Head torch. Helps if you put it on the right way. Alright, that can come off. What I need is the idle control valve. Pull that off. That should just come off. One of the things I need is that thing, the washer bottle for somebody else. Uh, the Annabelle's GTO that's been converted to the back of the car, so we don't need that anymore. The other thing that I need, I see it in the bottom of the frame, is that thing there. That is the idle control valve. So Jaden is going to be uh, spanner boy Hello. and cameraman while I uh, work this out. Okay. We have a throttle body. I don't need the throttle body. I need the idle control valve, which is that there. I don't know if the lights can see it. Okay. I have a question for you uh, car gurus out there. What is this? What is that? It's connected to the uh, throttle cable. And I don't think our GTO has that on, so what is this? It's got like a little, uh, a, a do-flab thing there, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, it's bad. He's rubbing the bloody plates off the car. Please. Anyway, <laughs> I thought, try, try and give you a better look at this car, considering I'm confined into a garage, the tyres are flat. I have no keys for this car, it's never been started in probably about eight years. Yay! Yeah. We'll have a, a gander of what this car has got. Get some light on it. We have some proper chrome wheels in there. Like max power days. Right. We're going to have a full twin turbo engine bay, minus throttle body and um, a few other bits of pipes, battery tray, washer bottle is gone. Um, I'm trying to uh, manoeuvre some of these wheels so I can uh, open the door. No. Oh. He's just trying to rob me. I'm not. I'm how bad this is. And here is the interior. Oh. Oh. I mean, the seats are. I have a brick in here. I have a brick in here because um, I was trying to break the steering because I have no keys for this car. Yeah. And um, yeah, so interior is there. That's a horrible knob. It doesn't have a, a, a bottom bit. Otherwise, I, I would have taken that because I don't like the one on Annabelle's. I know it's her car, but still. Um, yeah, that all interior is, was stripped before I got it. We do have the gauge cluster. Here, hmm, that's in better nick than Annabelle's. You know, a lot of this stuff I want to try and put into Annabelle's car to make her car a little bit more neater. Stuff like um, these kind of plastics, because these are in so much better nick. That even the dashboard is in so much better condition than what hers is. So if we can salvage it, we're gonna do it.
like I say, seats. I don't know what he's doing. He's rubbing stuff off the back of the car. He's, in, he's nicked the ridge. I'm gonna turn that off. Why? I thought you were taking it. I thought you wanted the ridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the license plates. Yeah. I'm touching it with dirty hands. I shouldn't be touching it with dirty hands. The headliner in this car is considerably cleaner than what in, is in Annabelle's. Um, that visor's a lot to be desired. It's filthy. But overall, headliner seems okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to try and use this car to... Uh, to better up her car, I guess. Part of me just kicks in and I think, oh, I should have kept this car as a whole and just try to put it back on the road and maybe use it as a track car. But I'm a novice and I've got to think of this logically and level-headed. It's an expensive car to do it to if I was going to do it and I'm learning. So I'd rather get rid of this car and um, keep Annabelle's neat and then maybe get something smaller and cheaper that I can me mess about with. Maybe an MX-5, maybe an MR2. Something cheap and cheerful. N MR2 non-turbo, obviously. Because when you've got turbos, it confuses things. I'm just looking at stuff. In fact, while we're here... I've got to the work out how this is all... What the fuck is that? The original covers. I'm going to keep them because they could be still used with the clocks. Because those today. clocks are in better condition than what your mum's are. Mm -hmm. Aren't they? Yeah. So we can use them. <laughs> what is this? Subaru. I'm sure that that is on the other side on your mum's car. Subaru radio on it? Yeah, it is a Subaru radio. That's all that is. Cassettes, man! I've got cassettes! Cassette your mum gives me any more cheek, we're gonna degrade her to cassette player. <laughs> I've got cassettes. We can use some cassettes. I should take that in for a laugh, just connect it up and see if it works. I personally like these. I like the way that they light up. What is it? The aircon buttons and oh. the switches. It'll never work in your mum's car anymore because her car has been completely dismantled. Exactly. So, but I need that plate as well. That plate is missing. When said mechanic messed everything up, he, uh, he, he failed to put that plate back in. Or it's the fact that I can't see where it is now these days. So we'll come back for that because it's not necessary at the minute. Because this dashboard is also in better condition than your mum's. Yeah, definitely. I'd agree. Oh. So we're going to leave it there. If you're wondering how I got out, yes. I had to do that as well. Come on, you can do it. There's an oil restrictor in there. Come on then. <laughs> what happens when you hoard. Hold that. Yeah. This is what happens when you hoard. Under, uh, Underglow. Underglow. Brand new. Never Have been you, fitted. Has the Skyline got underglow as well? No. Has it not? <laughs> it keeps me too. You're going to take that. Nice and straight. Take the nut. What else is in there? Ooh, for the skyline. A nice new... 
Where do I get all this stuff? I don't know. What's this? Hey! Hey, man! Look at this! You don't have to hold so close. I know. I'm only really showing sure this whole thing. Just... You're making me like, whoa. whoa. I bought this years and years ago, and it goes in your cigarette lighter. It's USB. <laughs> Keep that. We we'll keep that. Okay. That's an oil restrictor for a turbo. Keep it. Now, if you're an old-time subscriber, and I say an old-time subscriber, probably my third video, I mentioned something and it never came back, it never reappeared, and I've just found them. <laughs> <laughs> How big are your balls? <laughs> Put it next to the GEO. Hang on, one of the hangers there. <laughs> Um, okay, it's actually a couple of days later. It's taken me a couple of days to get to this stage because there's a couple of things that I've noticed with this car. Modifications that are getting in my way. Here we go. Now, on a standard uh, Mitsubishi GTO, the intake would come out here. So in fact, this is a lot longer. So this part would, the throttle body, which is now there, would technically be around here, okay? So this has been all modified, customed. Throttle body's now here. Let me start by thanking everybody. I, I don't know why I come to my garage, it's just like a, a safety thing, you know? It's like back home kind of thing, instead of standing in the middle of nowhere where everybody can watch me. Um, first of all, thank you very much to everybody that's got in touch and whether you thought your opinion was worth it or not, um, you know, I, I'm grateful for all the help. My phone didn't stop when I uploaded that video, the last video on the car. And I, I am really, from the bottom of my heart, really grateful for all the help and the advice that I've been given. I'm not going to rule anybody's advice out, even if I think, mm, maybe not, maybe not, you know what I mean? Um, I'm still going to go through it. One of the biggest bits of advice that I did get was about the idle control valve on the on the. GTO. I need to call it the Skyline there. It's not a Skyline. Anyway, <laughs> um, I had a control valve. I've managed to get the, the one off the, the red parts car. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. When I've brought the, the, the throttle body home, I just took the throttle body off because it was the way that it's positioned, it's just easier just to take the whole throttle body off. I've noticed on this as I was mentioning before. So the intake's all been customised and, and swapped around and changed. Throttle body's now here. It's still the right way around. Um, but the difference is the idle control valve is down the bottom here. I'll get this pipe out the way. The idle control valve is there. That there where my finger's touching now is a water feed. So that's been blocked off. So I don't know whether, I mean, I'm assuming you could just cut that off and it you don't need anything, it's not going to make it leak or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to look at the other... And now and there's another thing. The top of the throttle body here. Okay, because this is obviously custom. So the throttle body side by side. If I can balance that. There would be perfect. Throttle bodies side by side. The sun is not in my favour. Okay. This little... Oh, that little... Cutter there, I don't even know what you call it, like a little pipe connector, that's the, the gasket coming off. You can't come off. That's been cut off on that car. So that's been deleted. 
This dampener, at first I thought, oh, what the hell's that? Because this one doesn't have one, and it's impossible to have that there because of the way that this is designed with the, the cable down there and all this stuff in the way. Um, and because of where the throttle body is now, it's, t it's if you leave that on, it's going to touch the, the actual timing belt cover. I'm going to clean this one up, but because this has been deleted, I don't really want to write this one off just yet until I know that it's idle control, because I don't think there's anything wrong with the throttle body. So I'm going to try and take this off, take the idle control valve off, which is that, put it onto this throttle body, and then hopefully put it together. But while this is off, I'm going to take this off because I want to get that cover off, because I want to recheck the timing. I want to make sure that the timing is still um, okay. While this is off, gaskets have arrived for the lower part of the, the intake. I'm going to change the intake gaskets with that. Um, I just want to check the timing because that was the original downfall of the car and the reason why it went off the road in the first place. I just want to make sure, just keep on top on top of it, rather be safe than sorry. All this cranking and starting and revving and you know, all this kind of stuff. And it's something to rule out, you know? Um, so we're going to do that, but I've only ever checked the first two cams. I, I need to check the other, the other two. Um, I, what the, what's the matter with me today? I, I, I nearly said the other three. It's only got four, Craig. What the hell are you doing? Uh, anyway. Yeah, so we should, I'm just gonna crack on. Instead of talking, crap. <laughs> starting to sweat. Right, got timing, timing belt covers off. I haven't checked the timing yet so we are about to check the timing. With these dots, the timing marks are there so I'm gonna hand turn the engine over and uh, hopefully everything bloody lines up. So the timing's fine. I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, the light. <sighs> Forgive me if I'm completely off with this camera because, like, the, the sun's like not doing me any favors. One mark there. You can follow that that tooth all the way, and it points directly on the tooth, the arrow down there. That one there. Same again. Follow it all the way. So that's in time. Next one there. Oh shit! I'm all over the place. That one there. I'll follow that one as well. And there you go, another one there. They're all in time. I don't know how well that's going to come out. I'll try, anyway. But the notch is right on um, the first mark on that little plate down there. Next job, I'm going to try and lift all this up. I've got a couple of new gaskets and I'm going to try and put the, the new gaskets in here. So far, I, I personally can't see anything untoward. I've done a rookie mistake. <sighs> so I've got everything, I've got the intake off. Systematically. God knows why there's so many d damn washers everywhere. So I've kept it there, just so I know where everything goes. Um, mistake I've made is on the bottom of the Injectors, there's a little rubber ring, and one's fallen off down there. I'm gonna be honest, I shit myself at first because I thought, How the hell am I gonna tell Anna about this? But I'm convinced and I'm confident I can get it out. And uh, I'm gonna keep the cameras off because I don't want you guys see me sweat trying to get that O ring out. Um, I might leave the GoPro there, in fact, I'll, 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 I will leave the GoPro on because. I'm shitting a brick, okay? 
because without the injector, the car is stuck there. This little twat of a thing, that thing, focus. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Not because the car's broke. She. Ooh. You little sod. Right. As we were. Now we can change gaskets. I personally haven't seen anything untoward in these gaskets, but now that I'm here, I'm gonna put the new ones in and then torque it down. And put this thing back together without losing anything. That's the old gasket and there's the new. Slight difference in the top of the, the shape there. I wonder if that makes a difference. I suppose time will tell. Fuel rails back on. And no, I didn't lose anything. Everything's nice and tight. Now I'm going to plug all the injectors back in. So here we have the two throttle bodies side by side. Goes like that. That's going to come off. No. What did I say? I said. Go back on what I said. Forget about the throttle bodies. I'm not going to do anything to this throttle body because you have to cut that off. Um, and I don't really want to cut that off just yet until I know that that car is going to start again after I've been working on it. But the two things there, they're the water feeds I believe. And what I can see there, they've literally just been cut off, not really sealed anything. So I'm just going to cut them off. Alright, so I've had a bit of a fail. The idle control valve, I am going to give up trying to get off. So I haven't done anything with the, the one that's on the car, this particular one. I've tried to get the uh, screws out of this thing. That one and that one in particular, I cannot get to budge. The other three, uh, three, one, two, three, yes, I can get to budge. But until I can get them out, I don't really... I don't really want to touch what's on the car. I've put the car back together and then we're gonna and then we're gonna do first start and I hope I hope this thing fires in the life. Otherwise animals are gonna knock me. Here we go. Here we go.
Oh, so what can it be? What can that noise be? I'm trying hard. I'm grateful that the car started. <laughs> I am grateful. Probably snot at my nose. Shout out to this tool. That tool is what saved the day. An old clamber for fishing that I used to use in Africa. Well, my mum did actually. And then a vinyl wrap hook thing, whatever it's out of the vinyl wrap kit that I had from Donkey Chunks. That saved my ass. So shout out to that utensil. <sighs> kind of, yeah, it's it's good that the car's got new gaskets. I'll wait for the other gasket to, to do the upper gasket on the intake. I don't think it's that gasket leaking. I'll be very surprised if it's that gasket leaking. I talked down Oh, everything down to the spec, which I, I believe is 13 newton meters on the intake manifold. Um, I hope that's tight enough. For now, that's all I can do. I'm going to sit and research a more and see if there's, if it could be a pulley. Could it be something to do with the rear three? You know, I mean, my mind is running a million miles an hour because of everything I've been through with this car. A little bit of history. That's been rebuilt twice. That's been rebuilt once. The mechanic that originally messed everything up, that got everything here wrong. He got everything there right, the back three. This had to be redone. And I don't know if it's something to do with that. But I, I'm not sitting here playing, right. Another thing, I'm not, I'm not, Pointing fingers here. I'm not just playing, trying to play a, bl a blame game. I'm, my mind's going a million miles an hour. Could it be something to do with that three? I don't know. Could it be a pulley? I checked the timing because I've read somewhere about um, the tensioners. The, uh, the tensions on these rely on oil pressure. Whether that's true or not, I just, you know, I thought I'll check the timing, make sure with all this cranking and revving and bloody up and down doing this, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. If you spotted something, if you spotted something I haven't done or should have done or whatever, by all means, if you really want to advise, please, any any advice is um, is welcomed because like, hey, I'm only learning as we go along. Thanks for joining me on this kind of productive day, kind of not productive day. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna try and get those screws out that bloody throttle body for the idle control valve. It's not idling all that bad, to be honest. Um, this is the other thing. Sometimes it can be really bad. Other times it can just be a little bit like it's just been doing that. I don't know. I don't know. But thank you very much for joining me on this. If you're new, I hate doing this. If you're new, you know what, all that crap. GEO, the girlfriend's GEO that gives me a bloody headache. Skyline sitting pretty. Never gets used. Maybe we use it. I did find the underglow, so we might end up putting that on there, but I've noticed a, a fault with one of the, the underglows, so that could be a little while yet. <sighs> Until next time.